Note 1 by Brian Abs and Ingrid Freebairn. Copyright Brian Abs and Ingrid Freebairn and Longman Group UK Limited 1990. First published by Longman Group UK Limited 1990. Cassette 1. Preview. Units 1 to 5. Listen and follow the conversation in your student's book. Good morning, Adam. Morning. Hello. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to go to Paris. Right. When would you like to go? Right. Uh, just a few details. What's your name, please? Martinelli. Laura Martinelli. Martinelli? That's an Italian name. Yes, my parents are Italian, but I'm American. How do you spell Martinelli? With one L or two? Two L's. And your address? It's 1 Hull Road, York. Here's your ticket. Thank you. And this is for you. What is it? It's a pen. It's a present from British Airways. <laughs> oh, thanks. Bye. Bye. Unit 2. Exercise 1. Listen to the conversations and match them with the pictures. 1. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to tonight's fabulous show. 2. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mrs. Jackson. Three. Louisa, let me introduce you. This is Clive Mortimer. Clive, this is Louisa Ferrero. How'd you do? How'd you do? Four. We're leaving now. Okay, have a nice evening. Thanks, and the same to you. See you tomorrow. Five. Roy, what a surprise. Oh, hello, Jan. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Oh, not too bad. Six. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Can I help you? Uh, well, I'm looking for a jacket. Seven. And that is the end of the story. Off to sleep now. Yes. Good night, Sam. Night, Dad. Sleep well. Eight. Have a nice time. Take care. Goodbye. Bye. See you on Monday. Unit 2, Exercise 4. Listen and repeat the names of the days of the week. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Unit 2, Exercise 7, Speech Work. 
listen and underline the stressed syllables or words. How do you do? Hello. How are you? Good morning. Good afternoon. Morning. Good evening. Good night. Goodbye. See you on Monday. Unit two, exercise eight, listening. Listen, and complete the conversation. Hello, Adam. How are you? I'm fine, thanks. And you? I'm okay. Adam, this is Karen, a friend from Leeds. Hello, Karen. Hi. Sorry, Chris, but I must go. That's okay. See you on Monday. Okay. Have a nice afternoon. Bye. Thanks. And the same to you. Bye. Unit three. Exercise four. Speech work. Which stress pattern can you hear? Listen to these examples. One. Britain. Two. Japan. Three. Italy. Now say which pattern you hear. Is it one, two, or three? China. Portugal. Turkey. Brazil. Germany. Unit three. Exercise eight. Listening. What language do you think it is? One. Hola, me llamo José. Tengo diecinueve años y estoy aprendiendo algo de inglés aquí. Realmente a mí lo que me gusta es los deportes y ir a la discoteca, aparte de leer y oír música. Two. Mi nombre es Manjuka. Ayu, diecisiete años. Puedo hablar un poco de inglés. Me gusta leer y oír música de la radio. Three. Mein Name ist Erich Wirzoch. Ich bin 52 Jahre alt und bin hier, um meine englischen Sprachkenntnisse zu verbessern. Die Sprachkenntnisse zu verbessern ist mein privates Vergnügen. Unit 4 Exercise 3 Speech work. Listen and underline the stressed syllables. Pencil. Envelope. Wallet. Apple. Diary. Orange. Telephone. Address. Unit 4. Exercise five. Listen, and say the letters of the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L. M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, 
Z. Unit 4. Exercise 9. Listening. Listen and say what present Adam got for his birthday from his mother and father. Choose from the following. A cassette recorder, a CD compact disc player, a radio. Happy birthday, Adam. Here you are. Oh, thanks. What is it? Aha. Is it a cassette recorder? No, it isn't. It's a radio, isn't it? <laughs> Open it. Oh, no. A CD player. Mm. That's really great. <laughs> Thanks, Mum. Thanks, Dad. Thanks a lot. Glad you like it. Unit 5. Exercise 1. Listen and say the numbers. 1. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. Seventy, eighty, ninety, a hundred. Unit five, exercise two. Listen and write the numbers you hear. Three, thirteen, eleven. Thirty, fourteen, fifteen, twenty-three, forty, sixty, fifty-nine, eighteen, ninety, a hundred. Unit 5. Exercise 10. Listening. Listen and complete the form for Adam's friend, Chris. OK. First, I need some personal information. Your name, please. Furness. Can you spell that, please? Yes. It's F. U R N E double S. Thank you. And your first name? Christine. Christine. That's uh, C H R? Yes. And is it Miss or Mrs? Miss. And your address? 15 Clifton Street, York. Clifton Street. Is that double F? No, one F. C L I F T O N. Clifton Street. Do you know the postcode? Yes. It's Y O 3 4 R D. 4 R D. Telephone number? 0904 642 091. And how old are you, Miss Furness? I'm 19. Fine. Now, can you just sign your name here, please? Good. Right. Well, let's see.
Fluency, Units 1 to 5. Exercise 2. Listening. Listen to a telephone call to What a Surprise and answer the questions. Radio York has a new radio phone-in program. It's called What a Surprise. It's very simple. Think of a friend and give them a surprise. All you do is phone us. Hello there, I'm Jeff Andrews from Radio York. Let's listen to another call on What a Surprise. Hello, what's your name and where are you from? Hello, my name's Maggie and I'm from Leeds. Hello Maggie, and what's your friend's name? He's called Jonathan. He's my boyfriend, actually. Uh -huh, I see, and where's Jonathan from? He's from York. And how old is Jonathan? He's 21. And what present do you want for your boyfriend? A T-shirt, please. Great. OK, now, Maggie, here's your quiz question. What nationality is Steffi Graf? She's uh, German. Yes, you're right. She's German, and your friend Jonathan wins a Radio York T-shirt. Congratulations, and thanks for calling. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Preview, Unit 6 to 10. Listen and follow the conversation in your student's book. Hello. Uh, remember me? I'm Adam from the travel agents. Oh, yes, I remember. Have you uh, got time for a coffee? Yes, lovely. Do you, um, do you work near here? No, I'm a student at the university. Who oh, are you? What are you studying? English literature. Do you like York? Yes, very much. It's a lovely city. Yes, I like it a lot too. Where do you live in the States? I come from the West Coast, from San Diego in California. Really? I've got a cousin in California. He's a surfer. Can you surf? Yes, but not very well. Can you? Um, no. no. I can't. Look, I must go. <coughs> Give me a ring sometime. Okay. Bye. Bye. Unit 6. Exercise 3. Speech work. Listen and say if you hear can or kin. Yes, she can. I can speak English. He can speak French. Yes, I can. Can you speak Italian? What can you do? Unit 6, Exercise 7, Reading and Listening. Listen to a British person living in Paris. Look at the survey and note down what the speaker can and can't do. Read a menu. Yes, I can do that. Um, ask directions. Uh, no, I'm not so good at that. I don't really think I can do that. Um, no, I can't ask directions. Uh, read a French newspaper. Uh, no, I can't do that at all. Uh, my level of French isn't up to that at all. Um, have a simple conversation. I think I can do that. Uh, it has to be a very simple conversation, otherwise I can't understand it. But uh, I can do that, yes. Understand the TV and radio programme. Uh, no, I can't do that. That's much too difficult for me. Um, speaking French fluently, no, I can't do that at all. Unit 
Unit 7, Exercise 4, Speech Work. Listen and repeat the words. Notice the sound the. This. They. There. Mother. Father. Brother. Unit 7. Exercise 7. Listening. Listen to Adam talking to Laura about his family. Use these names to draw his family tree. William, Michael, Dorothy, Mary, Jim. Tell me about your family, Adam. Well, there's my mother. She's called Dorothy. And my father, his name's William. And are your grandparents alive? Yes, they are. They're called Jim and Mary. They're quite old now, over 80. Mm, my grandparents are both dead. Have you got any brothers or sisters? Just one brother, Michael. How old is he? 24. He's my big brother. I share a flat with him. Oh, that sounds fun. Hmm, sometimes. <laughs> Unit 8, Exercise 1, Reading. Listen and read about people from different parts of the world. Then answer the questions. 1. Shirley Norris is a telephone operator from Houston, Texas. I'm divorced and I live with my mother. She's quite old and can't look after herself. My children are all grown up. 2. Carlos and Helen Garcia are Spanish. We live in the center of Madrid in a flat. I'm a journalist and my wife is a musician. She plays the violin for the Spanish National Orchestra. 3. Brenda Churchill comes from England. I'm a bus driver and a housewife. I live with my two teenage children near Leeds. My husband works in a factory. Four. Kevin Johnson comes from Ireland. I live with friends in a hostel in Belfast. We're all students at the university. Five. Selma da Silva comes from Recife, Brazil. I'm Brazilian. I work for the airline Vari. I work at a checking desk at the airport in Recife. I live with my husband and baby daughter in a small flat in Recife. 6. Michel Moulin comes from France. I live at home with my family. We live in the country near Perpignan. I work on a farm. 7. Vera Laucas is Portuguese. I live in a flat in a suburb of Lisbon. I live alone and I work for the government. Unit 8. Exercise 2. Speech work. Listen and underline the stressed syllable or word. Where do you work? Where do you live? What do you do? Where do you come from? Unit 8. Exercise 5. Listening. Listen and say which of the people in the photographs is talking. How do you know? It's a nice city. I like it very much. It's big and cosmopolitan. We live in the center near my work. We've only got a small flat, but that's fine at the moment because we haven't got any children. I have to speak English very well for my job and I often travel to Britain and the USA. My wife travels a lot in her job, too. Next year, I'm going to work in London as a British correspondent for my newspaper. (music) 
Unit 9. Exercise 4. Reading and listening. Read the Dateline advertisement. Then listen to three interviews. Note each man's name, age, job and interests. Say which you think is the best partner for the woman and why. 1. Now, your name's Tony, isn't it? That's right. And you are? I'm a teacher. How old are you? Twenty-five. Right. And what sort of things are you interested in? Well, I like reading and gardening. I'm a stay-at-home person, I suppose. Do you enjoy travelling? No, not much. I like staying at home. Two. What's your name? David. And how old are you, David? I'm 31. What do you do? I'm a doctor. I work at St. Thomas's Hospital. What are your interests? Well, I like classical music, going to the theatre, going to restaurants. Mm -hmm. What about sports? No, I don't really like sports at all. And what sort of person would you like to meet? Um, someone not too old, not too young, someone who likes the same things as me. Three. And your name is? Simon. And what do you like doing in your spare time? I like keeping fit playing tennis, walking, and so on. Anything else? Uh, I like going to the cinema and going to discos. What about music? I don't like classical music very much. I like rock music. And how old are you, Simon? I'm 19. What do you do? I'm a student. <laughs> 